On July 17, after 10 days of heavy bombardment from the air, many tens of thousands of Israeli soldiers entered Bet Hanun, Shuja'iyah, Dir el Balach, Khan Yunis, and Rafah. <laughs> I am Brian Diano, 24 years old. I started boxing when I was 14. I was so nervous when I first stepped into the ring. I lost that fight. As a kid, I collected used bottles, plastics and metal scraps. There wasn't a day when I was able to have a full meal. I was inspired by many Pacquiao to box because our stories are the same. He was poor. I'm also poor. I want to follow in his footsteps and help my family. He was able to lift his family and even the whole nation. In the southern Philippine city of Cagayan de Oro, Brian Diano is gearing up for the biggest fight of his career to challenge the Asian Boxing Federation super flyweight belt. Win or lose, Brian's purse is 550 US dollars. Not much compared to the millions floating around boxing's top flight. But winning is a ticket to bigger money bouts overseas and a rung up the poverty ladder. Mary Bondono is 16 years old and was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at the age of one. Every morning I have to get up and take my nebulizers, puffers, and then I have to do my laxative. Yeah. And then I have to do another nebulizer, saline. And then I have to do my physio. I do spiral AD and then I normally go out on the trampoline to help it move. Okay. And then after that, I have to do another nebulizer. And then I have to do more puffers. And then, yeah, that normally takes all together about an hour. So an hour in the morning and an hour at night. Yep. When Mary was first diagnosed, Doctors thought she would only live until the age of four. I do feel like there's days when I really don't want to do it. Yeah. I know I have to, and I know if I don't take the medication, then I will get ill. Mm. There's never a day goes by then I don't really forget about it. I can't forget about it. Because I know it's always there. Mm. But things could be about to change. Scientists have proven for the first time ever that an experimental technique called gene therapy can improve the health of those with cystic fibrosis. 